Hey guys, it's me, Julie, back with another video. Do I do this every time? I bet I do. <laughs> I'm so happy you're back with me. It is Treasure Hunt Tuesday, and I thought we'd start by showing you some of the treasures I hunted from auction winnings and then go into the Treasure Hunt jewelry we've been working on. Here you go, pause right here if you'd like to purchase anything. And just so you know, all the invoices did go out yesterday. So, um, and I went to the post office today and I should be able to go again tomorrow. So if anybody pays today, I should be able to hit it tomorrow. Okay, so here we go. Oh, and I'm late. So it went out on Monday cause my weekend was crazy. So that might happen. <laughs> like this week with the wedding. You are going to get your uh, invoices on Sunday or Monday, probably Monday. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I did a little bit of homework. I could not figure out those earrings that look native inspired. Um, I'm still working on that. <laughs> but I did find out some other things. So this was Burt Castle, C-A-S-S-E-L-L. -L. It's gold filled. Uh, it came up on the nephrite line. It's in perfect condition and it's going to be $7, $7. Um, okay, and then Beverly, thank you for telling me what this is. I'm sure a bunch of you knew. Um, so this little piece goes on a bolo tie and it's one of the bolos that have tipped ends so they can fit in here instead of having to fish down. Does that make sense? So this is the piece for a tipped end bolo tie. I think I'm saying that right. And it's going to be $7. Also read on the nephrite line. Okay. All right. So that was my homework. I got most of it done. <laughs> all right. On to auction winnings. So I tested all of this because um, there's a bunch of sterling. I tested it all yesterday after I filmed my video so that we could move quickly through it. So we have this gorgeous... <laughs> Sterling butterfly brooch. It's so cute, you guys. I like this one a lot. Um, I can't remember if it's signed. Oh, yeah, this one is. It's J-E-Z, -E and it stands for Jezlane. J-E-Z-L-A-I-N-E. -E. Okay, and there's a, there's a signature, J-E-Z. Okay, and this one's going to be 20. This one did test to Sterling. A couple pieces didn't, but I have them marked. Um... Okay, here we go. We have this beautiful sterling flower bouquet brooch. Isn't that pretty? And it has marcasites in it. And I did not see any missing when I evaluated. Um, and this one is marked too. It says, um, Her it's Harry Iskin, I-S-K-I-N. And his signature looks like a capital H with a capital I with a top and bottom through the middle of it. Okay, here. I kind of drew it, but it's terrible right there. So it's Harry Iskin. Um, he created jewelry in Pennsylvania, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, actually, in the 19, from 1930 to 1953. Okay, so vintage sterling brooch. This one's going to be 35. Harry Iskin. I believe I'm saying that right. I S. K I N A K. So, any of you golfers out there, check this one out. This one's got some weight to it. It is um, a set of golf clubs and a golf bag. This one is sterling and it is marked. I didn't write it down for myself. Uh, I believe it says Mexico 925. Okay, and this one is going to be, um, I'm going to do $20. $20. Okay, here I go again saying okay all the time. <laughs> this one is really neat, I think, okay? So it's a modernist piece and the designer is Jackie Cohen, C-O-H-E-N. And this is Roman glass. And it does look like there's like cracks and things, but I think that's part of the design, okay? That's just kind of part of how it looks. Um, I didn't see this in any of our other pieces, but it looks intentional, so I don't believe it's a flaw, okay? Um, what else do I need to tell you? Let's see. It's a pendant or a brooch. 
Um, it is signed. It's super hard to see. Um, can you see any? It's so hard. There's C O H E N and Jackie and kind of a script up there. Um, and her pieces go for a good amount of money. So giving you guys a deal, I'm going to do this one for 70, $70. And if that one doesn't sell, it probably won't go 50% off. That's one thing that I would probably put on eBay. So you can have an idea of what is going to be heading to eBay. Kind of give you an idea. Okay, we have this scimitar sword with a cool chain hanging off of it. It is uh, 925. And I don't believe this one was marked. Oh, what's that? Is that a mark? Oh my goodness. It's a weird mark, you guys. It's numbers, but it's not 925. And I think there may have at one time been letters right there, but I can't read it. <laughs> so these were po really popular to have sword brooches back in the day. So this is probably vintage. I would definitely hazard a guess at. Um, and I'm going to do this one for 25. That is probably another one I would put on eBay. Just so you guys know what will go 50% and what won't kind of things. Okay, we have this wolf howling at the moon. I never made a guess in my head about what this is. Um, I don't think it's cold to the touch. I'm gonna say acrylic, I'm not positive. And was this one signed? I can't remember. <laughs> Was that a signature right there? Hold on, let me double check. Oh yes, this one. Okay, I'm guessing that maybe at one time that said Mexico, you guys, but it is illegible. Uh, I'm gonna do this one for 20, $20. I would hazard a guess that that one also might be vintage. Okay, this one's really cool. I have a lot of information about this. So it has a C clasp, which dates it earlier than some of the things we've been looking at so far. It does work. I don't know why I'm having a hard time showing you. Because <laughs> I can never do it on camera. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Um, here it is. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, so it is sterling. Um, here is what I've got, okay? So, in 1870, they started stamping pieces sterling made in Italy. And that's what this says, sterling made in Italy. Okay? And then it has down here a P and a triangle. And I found out that a P and a triangle, one of the things it stands for is Parma, Parma, Italy. Um... So putting these things together, I'm going to say that I think, in my opinion, that this piece was created in Italy right around the 1900, in the early 1900s, late 1800s, okay? And based on that, I don't have a price for myself. I, yay, I got a freestyle? Okay, based on that, I am going to sell this one for $30, $30. Okay. Let's see. I hope you like sterling and I hope you like brooches because <laughs> we've got a few more. <laughs> okay, guys, this one is Mark Dane Craft. It is sterling. It's in excellent condition. There's the Dane Craft signature, Dane Craft sterling. Um, it did test as such. I just want to make sure that works. Sure does. All right, we are going to do this one for 15, one five. I'm having to reach really far, guys. I'm using my table differently today. Trying something out. <laughs> I haven't been using my little sock bins because my sock bins let me be lazy. <laughs> they stack really well. So after a video, I can stack them and get them out of the way instead of having to clean up my mess and get everything labeled. So I've been using things out of my table the last few videos, and then I have to clean up and get it bagged and tagged before I can make another video, which seems to be working. This says Carl, okay, no, this is a C. Let me see if I can show you. It's a C-A with an arrow through the middle. Uh, oh, if you almost saw it, 
Oh man, this thing. Okay, right? Can you kind of see it? A C and an A with an arrow through it. So um, that means, uh, stands for Carl Art Inc. Carl Art Inc. It is sterling. They made jewelry in Rhode Island from 1943 to 1950. And this one's gonna be $12. I just lost the bag for that. Oh well. Okay, we've got a non-sterling piece that gave me a run for my money yesterday. I could not get this apart, but I've had it apart, you guys. So I'm gonna leave it for now. It did come apart, I'm not sure what it's doing. Um, it is a gorgeous vintage stick pin. So check out these rhinestones. They have a color painted on the back side, like in a stripe. So do you guys remember a long time ago we talked about iris glass, where they would paint on the back of the glass? Now, most of the time, iris glass uses multi different colors behind it. Um, and this is a single color. So I don't know if this too would be called iris glass, but it is very much like that. And this piece is beautiful, <laughs> I think. And it's driving me nuts that it won't come apart. I will work on that more. I'm not sure what happened. I, like I said, I did have it apart. Um, so this piece comes off right here and this is the stick piece. Look at it. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna pause for my thumbnail. <laughs> Okay, um, I am gonna do this one for $20, $20. That is not sterling, you guys, not sterling. Okay, you guys, I told you that I got this ring for myself. Remember? Oh, look guys, I've got my bracelet on. So, so happy. See how it's a little loose? Like I can go like, it won't go over it by itself, but I can roll it off my hand. So I probably have to get it sized, but look. Yay! So excited. Okay, so I told you when I got my ring and showed you that I actually got another ring to show you guys. This is, and I did test this already on the gem tester and sterling. So it's sterling and diamonds. We've got little baguette white diamonds and round faceted black diamonds. Um, and I can show you actually. It's not hard to show you. I might as well watch it move. You ready? gonna go keep your eyes peeled there she goes and I was curious in my head if black diamonds read the same and that was silly because a diamond is a diamond is a diamond it's gonna have the same uh, structures and things that the gem tester looks at so yes a black diamond reads the same I don't remember what size this is like I said it is sterling it is very very nice a seven, you guys, straight on seven. Isn't it pretty? Let me put it on my finger so you can see. It won't fit on my finger, but isn't that so pretty? You can't have this one. <laughs> All right, you guys, there it is. Diamonds and uh, sterling, it's gonna be $50, five zero. And that would be another one that would probably go on eBay if it doesn't sell, not half off. I think you guys have the gist of that. I probably don't need to keep telling you. <laughs> okay, you guys, I have this cutie pie. We're gonna test what that stone is. I'm gonna guess a rose quartz. And the gold pieces are gold filled. You have the fish hook closure. Um, it's very pretty. I'm gonna give you a drop on this one. It's not super short or anything, but it's always good to know. Going on the roller coaster. <laughs> Okay, it is almost a 10 inch drop, you guys, almost a 10 inch. So let's see what this comes out to be. Help me, professor, tell me the way. What have you got for me? Watch it, will just be glass or something. Every time I guess, it's not what I guess. You guys know that, right? <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. It's hard on the chips. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I fell off, you guys. All right, I'm trying one more time and then we're just going with rose quartz because it's almost there. Interesting. It's right on the beginning of the quartz line and in the middle of the nephrite line. So you guys make what you will of that. Let me show you where it read. I'm not gonna try to do it again because right there, okay? So maybe it's like a pink nephrite, I'm not sure. Okay, this is going to be $18, you guys, $18.
Okay, this one, you guys. I'm going to give you a quiz. Are you ready? Guys, is this sterling? Is it? Tell me what you think. It is a traditional little thin brassy looking flower. And guess what? I did not believe this would be sterling. I, I just didn't. And it is, you guys. It is sterling. I was shocked. Anybody else surprised? I certainly was. It says sterling written out right there which lets us know it's on the vintage side. It is a great piece. Um, I think that's acrylic. Yeah, I would say this is just acrylic right here. It's beautiful. It's a chunker. I'm gonna do this one for 20, $20. Were you guys surprised that that's sterling? I mean, I probably gave it away that it's gonna be something that doesn't seem like it would be. <laughs> okay, you guys, here we go. Are you ready? All my sparkle ladies and gentlemen. Eek! Look at it. Oh my gosh. And these are purposefully bent up. Do you see each of the corners? Purposefully done. It's stunning. I love, love, love this piece. Okay, I can't say for sure that it's vintage, but I sure would hazard a guess that it is. I am looking to see if this stone is a blue. Huh. Guys, hard to see, but I think this stone right here might not be blue. I don't know if anybody would ever, ever notice it because it still has a he heavy AB finish. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I just love it. It's a good size too. This one's gonna be 30, you guys, $30. And some of the auction things are a little bit on the higher end of my pricing, but that's okay. We've got some fun treasure hunting to do that will be a better pricing for you guys. Okay, look, I didn't see that, I don't think. Do you see that? That looks like a mark. Oh boy. Okay, it says 925. There's an L and an O. No, I lied. That's the nine. <laughs> I wonder if this would work. Oh, you guys, have I solved the lens problem? Look at guys, I was reading L and O, like the nine was an L O. <laughs> and there's an X with a circle. <laughs> you guys, that worked awesome. Here we go, isn't it beautiful? I think it is so pretty. And it did test as sterling. It can be a pendant or a brooch. And we're gonna do this one for 20, $20. Oh my goodness. I don't know who I was watching that it was something like they read the front and they uh, um, read something and they were like, okay, the designer's name is Stir Ling. Stir Ling. <laughs> and then they realized what they were saying. Oh my gosh, it was so funny. Sometimes, because you know what, what happens? Sometimes you're when you're looking through the loop, you're actually pulling letters out. Like, okay, I see an A in the middle there. I see a Z at the end, whatever, you know? You're not actually reading words until you get a bunch of letters because a lot of times it's hard to read. Okay, guys. So my, I would hazard a guess on this guy that um, it is Victorian, I would guess. Um, this is the coolest clasp I've ever seen in my life. I could not date it. It is fantastic. It's almost like... Um, uh, I don't know. Do you see that? Did you see that happen, guys? So watch the little arm's going to come out. Do you see it? So that's how it opens and closes. This moves the arm, little arm out of the way, and you can get the bar out. Isn't that so neat? I tried so hard to pull this bar out. I almost broke it, you guys, because, you know, I'm not very gentle. <laughs> there we go. There it is. And this did test of sterling, you guys. Um, I believe it is marked sterling. Yes, it is. And I'm going to do this one for $20. $20. Okay. All right, we're getting to the end of auction winnings. We're getting there. A few more. I have this gorgeous collar necklace and that gorgeous heavy gold that I just think is so cool. Look at it. Beautiful collar necklace. 
it is um, gonna sit right at the base of your neck. Um, I believe this one was signed, wasn't it? Yeah, Monet. It is a Monet, pretty Monet. Um, I'm gonna try to get you a total length, you guys, but it's probably gonna take me a second. Oh no, it goes pretty straight, this one. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, so guess what we're having for dinner? You wanna know? Come on over. <laughs> uh, we're having coconut chicken curry, 15 and a half inches. So this lady here, me, did not have curry until about a year and a half ago. I had never tried it. I always wanted to. I am adventurous with food. I'll try just about anything because who knows? It might be your favorite, right? Um, so I had never, this is going to be 15, you guys, 15. I had never tried curry. We finally had it. And the first thing we had was we were getting HelloFresh back then. And they had this turkey coconut curry soup. And, <coughs> excuse me. And literally, oh my gosh, a whole new world opened up to me. <laughs> I got to say, though, that I like curry with the coconut milk. The coconut milk does it for me. I don't mind the other way. This is just like an ornament or maybe even a bookmark. Um, just a dollar if anybody wants it. So good, you guys. You got to try it. And now, believe it or not, my husband, Mr. You know, give me a steak, right? Picked curry, coconut curry soup for his birthday dinner. Can you believe that? It's crazy. So good. So I'm very excited for dinner. <laughs> um, this is really pretty, you guys. I think this was not marked. It looks to be vintage to me. I'm starting to say that with a little bit of a caveat like that. It's really, really pretty, you guys. It's delicate and beautiful. You know, sometimes the rhinestones are like, woo, blingin', blingin', blingin' in your face. Not this one. It's just understated elegance. Understated elegance. Sounds like I'm in a car commercial, right? <laughs> All right, I'm going to get you a total length on this one. So I think half our video today is going to be auction and half is going to be treasure hunting. It's a 15 and a quarter inch total length and it is stunning. And this one I'm going to do for 15, one five. Okay. All right. So we have another bar pin. I am going to guess that this is probably 1940s. And the reason for that is it is a trombone clasp. Remember how these work? You pull this out um, and it kind of, this piece, almost, it worked earlier, you guys, so it's probably me again. Um, this piece is almost like a doorstop and goes in and makes this opening tighter so this pin can't fall out. I'm not going to mess with it more right now. Um, I did not check these stones. So we've got some green baguettes. Let's see if we've got anything good. Nope. I mean, they're good anyway, but... Okay, no, they are, um, excuse me, acrylic or uh, maybe paste if it's back then. Um, it's really beautiful though. I am going to do this one for uh, 14, $14. Oh, that was Sterling, you guys. Sterling, and is it Mark Sterling? Hold on, let me look. I don't remember. Uh... Oh, I wanted to show you this though. Look at the edges. Isn't that amazing? So this has a little Art Deco feel. Is Art Deco the 40s? I'm terrible with that. Forgive me. <laughs> um, okay, here we go. Check this guy out. This lady. Isn't that cool? Really, really cool. Now she, to me, has like an Art Nouveau feel. Do you guys see what I'm seeing? Um, I'm not sure if this one was signed. It is sterling, like I said, I tested it. Oh, you guys, if you ever want to see something tested that I say I've tested and it makes you feel better to see it, I don't have a problem with that, just let me know. I'll shoot you a video of me testing it. Um, this one is going to be 20, $20. Uh, okay. Here's a not sterling, but it is marked, but it's a Fibber McGee. Liar, liar. Isn't this cool? It reminds me of the Fairbanks house, which is in Massachusetts. 
It's the oldest wood framed house in the country. And I'm a Fairbanks way, way back. So it's kind of cool. It's a neat place. Anyway, if you ever go to Massachusetts, check it out. <laughs> it does say, I believe this said 925. Yeah, it says 925 and then there's a mark I can't read and I did not get this to test as sterling. It looks like it would polish like sterling for whatever reason, but it is what it is. So this one is going to be $8. Maybe that's too high. Let's go five on that, guys. $5. Okay, this one I was kind of disappointed that it wasn't sterling. I really thought it was going to be. It is marked. It's the cutest little bee. Um, he's also a Fibber McGee, not sterling. Was it marked? Um, yeah, it says sterling right there. So he's just going to be $5, not sterling on that one. Okay. And then we had one more, not sterling. I believe he's a Fibber McGee too. Yep. Look at that. It is like a Siam guy, uh, dancer that were really popular, right? Back in the day. Um, he's going to be, I'm going to make him seven, seven dollars on him. Oh, he's marked Thailand Sterling. Okay. But he is not, he's a fibber. Okay. Three more pieces, uh, four more pieces and we'll move on to treasure hunting. I have this awesomeness. Look at the kitty cats. Aren't they so cool? That's marked Mexico, Mexico. Um, TA-109, I believe that says, and 925. This one's going to be 30. It is sterling. Good test. Um, okay, so this I got excited that might be Bakelite. It's not. It's another stick pen, but isn't it cool? I thought it was really cool. So it's some kind of plastic material. There's the end of it. It's in really nice condition. I'll do this one for five. Five dollars. Um, okay. This guy, interesting. Isn't it pretty? Like all hammered, like brass. I think it was brass, right? Am I saying? I think it's brass. I think I looked that up. And this says, it's hard to read, but it says, Handerbright. H-A-N-D-A-R-B-R-E-I-T. And then under it says, Calbrant. Calbrant. K-A-H-L-B-R-A-N-D-T. And it says Hamburg. So this is made in Germany. Um, that is a uh, designer that made this. It's a C clasp. And um, based on comps and giving you guys a good deal, this is going to be 35. And forgive me for butchering the German language because I'm sure I did. <laughs> okay, you guys, last one I'm going to show you. And this is so fun to me because I didn't know this, you guys. Maybe you do. Check it out. It is Sterling. Is this a G clef or treble clef? I don't know. I always mess that up. Not, I don't have a musical bone in my body. My sister got all the music. <laughs> so look guys, it has its tag and it's Bo Sterling. And did you guys know that Bo Sterling made their B out of a bow? Look at it. Isn't that cool? And it's B-E-A-U, Bo Sterling. I thought it was so cool. And then on the back, what did it say? I did Bowcraft. B-E-A-U-C-R-A-F-T. Okay, and it is sterling. This one's going to be $12. $12. Okay, so that's the auction winnings I have for you right now. So I got some auction winning, an eBay auction winning in yesterday. It was a group of um, five bracelets. And guys, I really think one of them's Juliana. How cool is that? We still have to talk about Juliana. We haven't talked about Juliana at all. And I was going to share what I know. Not that I know a ton. Don't get me wrong. I am not an expert by any means. Okay, I'm trying to get a bin for treasure hunting. All right, we're going to work through this bin. I think everything else is mostly... Uh, mostly... Um, 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 um. Yeah, anyway. Single earrings. There we go. Okay, so we've got this guy. Interesting. <laughs> Whoa, hello. It's cute though, huh? It's a neat setting. Let's see. It is a size coming in at a six and a half. 
It's an amber color stone. Let's see if it's anything that we need to know about. Tell us, Professor. It is glass, you guys. Just some very nice glass. Let's use the magnet. Oh, she's magnetic. All right, just gonna be $3 on that. $3. Okay, I've gotta move this basket because I was trying to reach around it and that sucked. Oh, stunk, sorry. Bad word. Okay, we've got this little cutie. It reminds me of the ring like I wanted so bad all growing up. It was gold and it looked like this and this was onyx. <laughs> Let's see if this is onyx. Interesting. It went a little further than I usually see onyx go. So let me show you what it did. Okay, so it still might be onyx. It's borderline where I usually see it. It's very pretty. Um, let's see if it's magnetic. No, it could use a cleaning. Do you guys see the back of that? It's a little dirty. Little dirty. Um, four and three quarter, and we'll test that in a little bit. And I'm sorry, I wish I had time to clean things for you guys, but as you see, it is most of the time how you get it. And I usually price accordingly. Uh, I don't see any markings in this one. It's pretty. Check it out. It is a sparkler. Woo woo. Let's see if they're CZs. Do you guys think they're going to be CZs? Let's see. Yes, they are CZs. They're coming up as glass. Let's give it a, a size or runer. <laughs> Six and three quarter. Okay, let's see if it's magnetic. Not magnetic, you guys, so we'll test that one too. All right, do we have anything besides, oh, well, this ring's pretty. <laughs> I was gonna say, do we have anything besides rings? I like this one. I like the look of this a lot. Look at it, it almost looks like a braid or herringbone, and then you have some gold tone or gold wash on there. I like this. Is it stamped? Uh, I think that's probably a 925 stamp. Oh no, I'm seeing things. All right, I don't know if it's stamped. I don't see anything. Um, eek. It's like between six and three quarter and seven. It's almost a seven. Okay, not magnetic. All right, let me find you something besides rings. Oh boy, I just saw another pretty ring. Ugh. They're just jumping in my hands, you guys. Go away, rings. I need something different. How about this little cherub? Look at him. A little cherub with a green, is it a heart shape? Eh, kind of a heart shape stone. Let's see what that is. Just glass, glass, and it is a pendant. There it is. <laughs> see the little loop? And is it marked? Yeah, it looks like it has a marking there, 925, and like a copyright symbol. It's not magnetic. We'll test it out. Oh, we got a little Precious Moments guy. He's cute, holding a green heart. I believe that's glass also, you guys. Let's see. He even has his little etching on the back. That's so cute. Not magnetic. We'll test it out. Okay, what else have we got? Oh, Lord, look what I got. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Uh, there we go. This is a cool chain, you guys. What's this one called, all you chain guys out there? Um, what is going on? Oh, my goodness. Look how smart this was. Somebody put their bracelet with their chain, and now it's not going to be missing. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. I'm going to try to get them apart so I can make them missing. Just kidding. I'm going to just take them apart so I can show you. Um, I do see a little 925 mark on that little little hooker. And <laughs> I don't know what you call it. Okay, so here's the bracelet. Gorgeous. The gold, gold wash, if that's what it is, we haven't determined that yet, is in good condition. Okay, guys, it is magnetic, so it is not 925. So the gold tone is in good condition. Let me get you a total length on each piece. Are you ready? Bracelets, seven and a half. 
necklace. 19. 19. Do you guys guess sizes when you're watching videos? Like for shoe videos, I always try to guess what size the shoes are. I'm never correct, but I try. Okay, I'm going to sell this. Should I sell it as a set or separately? They've been together so long. I'm going to keep them together. Uh, we're going to go 14. 14 on the set. It's in nice condition. Uh, okay. I pulled this ring and it's cool, so I'm going to show you. I know we are heavy on rings. Sorry. Let's see. Any markings? Yes, it looks like there's a 925 marking in there. There sure is. Do you see that right there? Right there. Uh, let's see what we've got for stones. I'm on the purple stones first. Hmm. Okay, so here's where they are. Let me let you guys look. Oops, shoot. Is there a purple garnet? I feel like there might be, guys. That might be what that is. Oh! Uh-oh, 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 danger, danger. Oh, no. I'm trying to do the white stones, you guys. Yeah, okay, I'm only trying one more time, and then I quit. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Oh, you've had a nice blurry vision. I should have showed you, I'm sorry. It read right here. So maybe quartz, clear quartz? Would they make little clear stones out of qu clear quartz? <laughs> Say that five times fast, guys. <laughs> clear stones out of clear quartz. Oh my goodness. I have a buildup of slime <laughs> from saying that. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyway, TMI, excuse me. Uh, let me measure this. Uh, it's a seven and a half, you guys, and this is really, really, really pretty. Different, too, you know? I always like a different ring. Give me a ring that I haven't seen everybody wearing, you know? I would say that one is that. Okay, I'm trying to find something that's not a ring. Oh! Oh, you guys. Oh, it's broken. <gasps> Look at the micro mosaic. Isn't it pretty? Oh, that stinks. So it has its um, link here, but this side is broken. So pretty. I love micro mosaic. How about you guys? Not magnetic. So I'll test it and then give a low price in case someone can make it beautiful again. Ooh, this isn't. Ooh, this is neat, guys. This is a cool shape, huh? So it's, as of right now, silver tone and gold tone in a tennis bracelet. This is in immaculate condition. Let me give you a measurement. Let's see. Um, we are at seven and three quarter. Oh, you guys, I forgot I have a secret to tell you. Are you ready? It's a good secret. I can't hear you. Are you ready? Okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> Kristen and I are doing an auction. I think it's next Thursday. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> it is magnetic. But yes, we are. And I'm so excited. Because I was sick and missed the last auction. And that really bummed me out. But I have really good stuff set aside from that. This is really pretty, you guys. How about if we go... I'll go 12 for you. $12 on that one. So I'm really excited about it. I want to show you everything I've had set aside for so long. This is cool. Check it out. What is this chain called? Do you know I have a chart? I should, you know what I need, guys? I need like a little flip through thing or chart on the wall that, you know, helps me date Trafari by the marks, helps me date Napier by the signatures, helps me remember the different chains. I really need to do that. Oh, helps me on the gem tester. Okay, this is an inf... No, it's not. There it is. I thought it was an infinity. It's not. There's a fold-over clasp. Ooh, and it says Monet. This is in excellent condition. Excellent. My guess is this is Julie Vintage. <laughs> 80s, 90s. 80s, 90s Vintage. 
I can't be sure, but that's what I think. Uh, I'm going to go 15 on this. It's very, very nice. That's that heavy gold Monet paint uh, plating or whatever you want to call it that I just love that I was talking about yesterday. We saw it earlier on that collar necklace too. I just love it. It has good luster and you can actually shine it too, guys. Okay, this looks like it might be a coin pearl in there or a piece of mother of pearl. I'm, I'm not positive on that, you guys. I do see a 925 mark. It's a cool pendant. Slightly brutal. Oh, I'm never going to get through a video without knocking that camera, am I, guys? <laughs> At least you don't have to make it a drinking game anymore because you wouldn't get it many drinks anymore in the beginning. You know, you would have been hammered watching my videos. Um, okay, anyway, it has a slight brutalist field, feel to me. Do you guys see it a little bit? So we're gonna test that. What time is it? Okay, we have to get to testing. I'll show you two more pieces. Um, what is this? Oh my, I don't even know what this is, you guys. That must be for someone. Okay, we're not gonna look at that. I don't know what the heck that is. Um, okay, how about this? Okay, so guys, I have just a fashion ring with a similar setting of this, but it has a rectangle stone. And I just thought it was so cool because A, you don't see it. And I don't have a B. <laughs> I just liked it. Look at it, it's cool, right? You don't see that every day. I like it. <laughs> I should probably have thought of a B. Okay, I do see a mark in there. 925CN, that would stand for China. Well, let's see if it's magnetic. It's not. Okay, cool. Put it up there. And how about if we can finish this without a ring? Oh, this is cool. Look at this pendant. It's cool, huh? Pretty. Clear uh, rhinestones or CZs. Uh, 925. Let's see what that says. I'm not sure. Want to use the loop again? That was really cool. Can lightning st strike twice? Oh, jeepers. That's not good. It fell. Let's see. Let's see. <gasps> Come on. <sighs> you guys, I was all excited. Okay, you can kind of see it. 925. Oh, that might say China out, written out. What's your guess? Tell me. It is. It's China. And next to the 925, before it, is an N and a circle. Cool, huh? Let's see if we can see if these are CZs. I would say yes, they are CZs. And guys, I didn't beep. <laughs> did you see that? Or I should say, did you not hear that? Woohoo! Okay, we're gonna test it. Time for testing. You guys, this mystery lot, <laughs> I don't even know. We've had like 10 videos of the same mystery lot. And I have to tell you, I've been dying. Because, you guys, I have my favorite thing to do over there. Favorite. I have some grandma jewelry boxes. Yes, I do. That is, like, my favorite thing to go through. It's the actual jewelry box with the stuff in it. And, oh, my goodness, those make me happy. <laughs> so, I really want to do them. And we're not there. Because we're doing this mystery a lot. Hmm. You guys making guesses? To me, it doesn't look too promising so far. Ew, that scratched horribly. That was gross. So I got this um, stuff for my stone. Anybody ever used this before? Test acid neutralizer. Oh, prevents further skin damage? I thought it was just for my stone. You guys, Julie, the queen of burning herself with acid, has a neutralizer. I didn't think it would be for my skin. That's so exciting. Because <laughs> I'm never going to learn. Ever. Okay, what are you guys guessing? Hmm. Mm hmm. Are you seeing the color differences? I sure am. Okay, let's see. Oh boy, I sure am. Oh golly, that one went right up my spine. Did you guys feel it? <laughs> so 
sorry. Sorry about that. Okay. All right, here they are. Hmm. Okay, I made my guesses. Okay, let's see how we do. There's one that I'm on the fence about a little bit. Okay, here we go. And I'm surprised about one of these if it turns out the way I think it's going to. Dun dunk, dun dunk. We need like drop sounds. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, guys, well, I'm getting better at guessing. How'd you guys do? My guesses were exactly right, but I was slightly on the fence about this one. All right, there she goes. So we have these three are not sterling. Then we have three sterling. Oh, cool, the pretty ring sterling, you guys. Not sterling. And I'm going to talk to you about what I was thinking about this. And all sterling. Okay, let's do it. Let's talk. I'll wipe that off after and get it all over me. <laughs> okay, we did a size on this one. I'm going to make this one $5. Five dollars, it's still very pretty. And it did have some kind of stone in that, remember? Uh, this one, I just really, really like. Did I give you a size on it? I think I probably gave you sizes on everything, but six and three quarter. I'm gonna do five dollars on this one. This one's a tricker. That one, if I saw it on anybody, I would definitely think it was sterling. And we have this one, super pretty and sparkly. Guys, I'm resizing these, and that's really dumb because I think I already did. Okay, size seven, five dollars. All right, so this is interesting. This is a conundrum. So I pulled it out like this and I said micro mosaic. So what do we think? We think Italy, right? That's what I would think. <laughs> um, but then when I flipped it over, I thought, hmm, looks like alpaca, doesn't it? It just gives me that feeling. So I'm not sure what this is, but I will do it for just a dollar if somebody can do something with it. It's very, very beautiful. It still has beauty. Okay, so we, we're up to our sterlings. We have the little cute angel pendant. I am gonna do that one for just $5. What month is a green birthstone? I guess I need a birthstone cheat sheet too. <laughs> The Precious Moments Cutie Pie Angel. I'm gonna do this one, I'll do this one for five also. This ring is a showstopper. Show stopper. Um, I'm gonna ask 20 for this, you guys, $20. It's incredible. Oh, maybe I should do this as my thumbnail. Ooh la la, like this. Oh yes. <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> I almost snorted. Did you hear it? <laughs> okay. Um, did we measure the size on this? I, I, um, this one is a seven, seven and a half. And I'm just going to do the last one because I don't know. I'm trying to remember to do all the sizing and measuring as we're looking at things and not while we're testing. That's an eight. Oh, it's an eight. Huh. An eight, you say. An eight. Oh. oh, all right. I'm giving you guys first dibs, but if it doesn't sell, <laughs> that's good in my jewelry box. Okay. Um, this one, sterling and whatever size I said a minute ago, but my short term memory is not working. Um, I'm going to make this one, I'm going to go, I'll go 12 for you guys. 12. And this cool pendant. I'm going to do this one for $10. $10. And we're up to the key, the key pendant. I'm going to do this one for $10. All right, you guys. So sterling lovers had their day today. It was a sterling kind of day, wasn't it? It was a sterling day outside. Okay, I think that's it. Have I, have I annoyed you enough today? I think it might be time. <laughs> Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I appreciate you all so, so much. Have a good night.